Hello guys and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mirror your Android device on your Mac, Linux or Windows 11. It's really simple and easy if you follow the steps in this video. For our tutorial today, we are going to use free and open source tool called Screen Copy. You can easily get it from GitHub. We are going to achieve this without the need of rooting our devices or even violating any warranty. So make sure to watch the video to the end. Enough talking and let's get into it. On your Windows 11, open a browser and type in SCRCPY. Click on the first link in the results from Jenny Mobile GitHub. After opening the page, you should see all the files related to this software. Scroll down the page to check the current version, which should be 122 by the time recording this video. Keep scrolling down till you get to the title, get the app. Over there you should see the instructions on how to install this software on Windows, Mac or Linux. So let's maximize our browser here. So click on download next to Windows and click to save the file on your computer and click OK. After that you need to navigate to your download folder or simply click on the download icon on the top right corner of your browser. You should see a downloaded zip file in front of you. You can unzip this file by using one of two ways. The first one is right click the zip file and choose extract all. I have extracted it once and I will not do it again so I will cancel here. Second way is to double click the zip file and copy all of its content, create a new folder and paste the copied files over there as you would see in a while on the screen. After successfully copying the files, search for Screen Copy Console or SCR CPY Console. But before we double click the program and launch it, we need to check two things first. First one that your Android device is connected to the computer through the USB cable. Second you need to make sure that the developer's option is active on your cell phone. So under settings, search for about phone and open it. And search for something called build number. Depending on your device model, it might be under software information and might not. So please be aware of that. Now you need to click on it 7 times and this will activate for you the developer's mode. Go back to the main settings menu and you should see at the bottom developer options. Open it and search for USB debugging. This option must be checked to allow this software to work. So please make sure it's activated as you see on the screen. Back to the Windows browser, double click SCR CPY console to launch the program. So guys, now you see that the program is successfully launched and you should see your Android device display mirrored in front of you. Guys, this tool is amazing. It gives you the full power to control and interact with your applications using your mouse. Even the common gestures that you use on your cell phone works in the same manner while using your mouse. Guys, our next station is to install this tool on Linux. So, grab yourself a coffee and let's keep going. On your Linux computer, open a terminal and simply copy the command next to Linux in the GitHub page under the title Get the App. You need to add the word sudo at the beginning of the command to give the user the privilege to install any software. After that you will be prompt to type in your password. After pressing enter it should be installed. As you may notice I have already installed it on my computer. So I don't need to install it again. Now type in the command SCRCPY screen copy. And don't forget to connect your cell phone to your computer, activating developer mode as well as activating USB debugging option. The window has opened on my second screen 
I need to move it over to this one. As you can see, it works also flawlessly on Linux. You can also maximize the window or minimize it and do whatever you want. So guys, we are going to move to the last part of our video today, which is installing screen copy on macOS. So please stay with us. To install screen copy on macOS, you need to open a terminal. So press command and space and type in terminal and double click to open it. Another way is to open it from the launch pad. You can simply open the launch pad by pressing function F4. And if for any reason you don't find the terminal icon in the launch pad, then you should be able to find it by typing in terminal in the search box. Simply open it when it appears to you. Now that we have opened our terminal, we need to copy from the GitHub page some commands as we did on Linux computer and install them. So we will be able to install a screen copy through a tool called Brew. It's not installed on Mac by default. That's why we need to install it first. On the GitHub page, under macOS title, click to open Homebrew link. This will take you directly to Homebrew official page. Now we need to copy the command on the screen. You can do that by simply clicking the icon next to the command and paste the command as you see on the screen. You can do so by right clicking in the terminal and click paste. Then press enter to run the command. You will be prompt to enter your password to confirm this action. Just type in your password and click enter. In the same way, you need to copy paste and run two more commands on your macOS. The first one is brew install scrcpy. The second command from the GitHub page is brew install Android platform tools. Simply copy paste and run the command. After running those two commands, all you need to do here is launching the program. And you can do so by simply typing in your terminal scrcpy. And of course, don't forget to connect your cell phone to your computer via USB cable and to activate the developer mode as well as USB debugging option. So guys, that wraps up our video today. Thanks for joining us, you're amazing. We are your trusted tech tips team. See you in the next one.